Hey guys, have you ever tried to play with paper or to do origami? Well, I know it's something that a lot of kids do, but you may not have thought you could make a living out of it. I'm excited to introduce you to this Montrose woman who's now known all over the world for her work. Walking into Joan's son's home is like walking into a museum, except all of the art here is made out of paper. Origami requires me to, uh, to be more focused and have a quieter state of mind, which serves me in this world. Sun started playing with paper dolls as a child in the 60s. Then she realized she could do so much more with the medium. Paper is a very uh, uh, sculptable and forgiving material, so it can really just about do anything, and it's lightweight. Sun's first paid origami work was the window at Tiffany's in the Galleria. Today, you can catch her latest exhibition at the Printing Museum down the street from her home. And you'll find her jewelry at local museums. I had a dream about a butterfly trying to get into my head way back in the early 90s. And, and when I drew a picture of it the next morning, it was a, a yellow butterfly. Origami is all about right angles and symmetry. It is such a precise art form that even after 23 years, Sun works slowly, paying close attention to details. It really is like brain surgery. <laughs> it's very, it's a very uh, uh, exacting art form. And sometimes it's not the folding, it's the creases that are most meaningful. Well, these are a thousand unfolded cranes. Um, and so I started painting the paper two inch squares mm -hmm. uh, with acrylic, different varieties of sort of an off white. Okay. And then I folded it into the crane. So it's a little tiny crane. Oh, it's so cute. I know. And some of these larger pieces of artwork actually take several weeks in order to complete. Guys, we are having such a blast here in Montrose, which is, of course, where I live. So I have to say it's my favorite place we've been to so far. You can check out all of our coverage online. Just go to abc13.com slash plus. Back to you.